Hark, we must tell a tale. Uh, what kind of tale? 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 This one. <gasps> hey, it's that one game that everyone was looking forward to up until the demo dropped. <laughs> And but then the, immediately and got immediately out the hated, and torches. Even though I think a lot of people are like really over exaggerating it. I think it's I, yeah. I think a lot of it's hyperbolic, and we'll get more it's into almost that. Like, it's almost like it's almost like hey, if y'all ever played a Sega game before, every all of them start like this. I mean, okay, and we we've talked about it a lot, and I will. And yeah, so first off, we have our two playable characters. We got Leo Craig with various color palettes and Emma Cole. Uh, I'll be playing as Emma Cole, cause why not? I like her design. That's I'll go fair. with her. I'll go with her standard as she appears in the FMV sequences, cause I doubt that whatever you change actually changes the FMV. Actually, actually, actually I did. I did. It does. Did. Really? Yeah. It does. Like I remember, cause I played as the Cole with the dark hair, because you know I have black hair, and that actually right. does affect how the cinematic plays. Yeah, and I did oh, the same well, thing then, with the red haired Emma. Then I guess the only thing, only other thing is we gotta hope that it also allows for player two to be affected by that because for this, look at hey. two. Oh hi! James is joining me as player two. Hello. Hey. Because this is how we plan. Because this is how we plan on tackling the commentary. Look at my bird. Right, let's my go. bird is bigger. All right, let's go make a sacrifice. My bird is pinker. Don't. Oh come on, let's not go <laughs> making a Mario 64 out of ourselves. You monster! And just, I, They're you birds. do that. Still fly. It's like, you do that, then all of a sudden, Balan shows up behind you, just there. puts a hand on your shoulder, and goes, I was not fond of that, madame. And it just pushes <laughs> me off anyway. So yeah, we're going to get right into this. And uh, and yeah, the t the Tims are adorable, so they, they sound like Kirby. So <laughs> They sound like Pikachu and Kirby combined. And they look like peeps. Wait. Yep. So, yeah, James was very kind to join me for this uh, co-op look at of this is we'll be covering. It's not 100 percent, but we're going to be covering the gameplay for all of the levels uh, involved in the Battle of Wonder World demo. And for those wondering why it's uh, why it's seamless, seamless as all get out. Yes, we are covering the PC version, you know, via Parsec. Mm -hmm. Yep, because uh, I mean, so first off, I like this like tag team mechanic here. You can separate from each other by holding in different directions. Okay. Which allows James to move ahead. Uh, player one still controls the camera, though. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how much would you say that was a hindrance to you guys when you went through this? I mean, I asked. What did you think of it, James? Uh, I mean, it's really only an issue when, like, again, you're not, you know, attached like this. Right. But I. But I'd say like when you. But when you are attached, like it's. Both you, once you're attached, both of you can control the camera once. Uh, mm -hmm. Another huge mechanic to Battle in Wonder World are the costumes. Yep. A total of 80 in the entire game. Mm -hmm. And um. I'm going to be honest, the costumes, it's like... I, th I feel like people are getting way too pissy about this game. The costumes are one of the few things I will have to agree with people on. I feel like they're a great idea, and some of the individual costumes I like. Overall, I feel like the camp mechanic could use some fine-tuning. However, uh, we learned that with uh, the partner mechanic, you can actually make even better use out of them. So now what's happening here is James is using his jump first. Uh, well, not there. That was me jumping. But uh, when we're in partner mode, you actually can share interactions between your characters. So now James can jump and then follow by me jumping afterwards. Ooh, that's yep. pretty nice. interesting. So, so I want to ask, like, say you find a suit. I'm not going to say a specific one, but say you have a suit that actually has like an offensive capability as it's one attack as it's one special can, the two of you fused together can you be able to like jump ah. and do the attack as well yeah uh yeah i think yeah we i think we did try that once where um, like for instance okay it's kind of kind of spoilers for this demo uh we tried out the hover sheep ability while he had the dragon and thus i was able to hover as he shot around me honestly that is oh a statue one. So yeah, basically this game's answer to the uh, green stars and star medals from your usual Mario. Click the you need a bunch of these in order to make progress in the game. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, but yeah, so yeah, that so that I'm I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, it makes it seem like the co-op mode actually has some of the more interesting like implementations into it. Honestly, yeah. it feels like the the co-op, like the two of you co-op like this really fixes a lot of the issues that I kind of have with the costume mechanic, because you were talking about the dragon one. Oh, that's the whole Tim brought a key. Oh, that's You're here, little Tim. Hey, hey, little guy. You know it. But anyway, like, that really does solve, like, a problem that I kind of have with the costume mechanic. Like, one problem that I know a lot of people have with this game, that it didn't bother me as much until I delve into the costumes, all the face buttons mm -hmm. do pretty much the exact same thing. 
Oh yeah, yeah no, this game right. completely runs with the Sonic the Hedgehog mentality of only really needing to use a, a stick and one button. That's more and, or less it. And it becomes an issue when you take the notion of, like, that applies to costumes as well. Like, for example, the dragon one you mentioned. The one attack, it can do fire, but that's literally all you can do. You can't even jump. They look like Kirby, right, too. Can... Wow. Yeah, hmm. I, the Tims. And I think that is an, oh, I think that Whoa. is an issue. Oh, while we're going through these levels, uh, however, we it's not all fun and games. Sometimes there will be opposition. Such oh, Lance here. Hi, Lance. He's basically the Riala of this game. Don't ever compare me to that whiny little brat. And oh, thus we gotta go. Yes. Oh, whoops. James. James, where are you? Don't worry there. about me. There just beat, just beat, those beat those little, little ooblings to a pulp. Are they actually called ooblings? No, I just call them ooze. I don't know. It's the first thing that comes to my mind because they do look like black black oozes oozes from. I am the absolutely calling them ooblings from now on. <laughs> I want to ask, so. like, because um, I want to ask in terms of like the the co-op. Because I saw James, like, can uh, do you both share health or do you have like your own individual hit points? Uh, we're separate more or less. Okay. And we're separate. And in terms of lives and or checkpoints, uh, James is effective. Oh, by the way, new costume basically it makes me Yoshi. It's one of my favorite costumes, honestly. Honestly, Jump all the Jack Flash. All, all the costumes that pretty much have maneuverability like this are my favorites. Yeah, oh, that's fair. I like that. Especially when you can combine it with a double jump to do crazy things. Mm -hmm. oh, to get around, uh, James and I also learned quickly that. Some of these challenges may not have been designed with co-op in mind. Oh, absolutely, honestly, like... absolutely not. A lot of them were designed primarily with the single player in mind. Right. However, I think that still makes it all the more fun because it means we get to find little, like, little sneaky ways around challenges. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we were talking about, uh, so with uh, the Ooblings we talked Okay, so yeah, basically, live-wise, live James is, a, is effectively Tails from Sonic, t Sonic 2. Gotcha. Mm, More or less. Gotcha. He can be chucked off cliffs and be the canary in a coal mine, and we suffer no penalties in terms of lives. However, there, oh yeah, I was, yeah, like, was going to say there is a catch. Unfortunately, much like the solo player, uh, the second player can still lose whatever costumes they themselves pick up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, but here we're about to <laughs> interact with a little bonus mini game. Yeah, <laughs> you found me. Oh, yeah. Gosh dang it. Well, what's wrong? No, I was disgusting to the, the the reference James just made with the yeah. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, time Balance? time to watch Balance right. show off. Yeah. James, what are Bal James, what are Balance bouts? Basically, whenever you find a golden hand in the level, you can watch you know Balance try to stuff to quick time events. And yep, I'm gonna be smash the competition. And I'm gonna be completely honest. I uh, I really love this idea of like a stage dedicated to Balan basically strung his stuff. I feel like I would have appreciated them if you were a lot more involved in actually controlling it instead of just QTEs. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll agree to that. To At the same time, though, I don't know. It is still kind of amusing. Just you know, again, he's a show. He's a showman at the end of the day. What, what's the best thing he does other than you know really flaunting, flaunting his you know good, his um, extravagance? Yeah. And, but uh, I and think of course the I'll way I see it is that, like, uh, let me put it to you as a comparison, James. Say you take Darn. the original Knights of the Dreams, and, you know, we might as well do those comparisons, because, again, it rares its reference on its sleeve. Take Knights of the Dreams, but you do play as the kids all the time, and the few times you actually play as Knights, they basically are just, like, these, like, little very two-second on-the-rail things. I mean, I guess it depends, but at the same time, it, we, we would, I would only be disappointed... Because I didn't have the frame of reference of knowing that a Knights game had me play as Knights. Since this is the first, since this is the first game of a new IP, I think they're allowed to try. Be careful, <laughs> buddy system. Uh, I think I think they're allowed to try it that out as a new thing to kind of keep them as a mascot character, but kind of divert focus away from them. Oh yeah, no, like Go when, Tims. You, when, you, when you compare the Go two, Tims. it's like this game is working on the exact opposite logic of the, of Knights, in that you know you're not playing you're. You're not primarily controlling the mascot. You're primarily controlling, you know, the kids that help, that help the mascot. Which I guess works. Uh, yeah, that, that still works. Um, so, uh, other than that, um, I guess we'll keep going into the gameplay in the next chapter. Uh, first, I'm going to show off uh, what we can do in the Tim homeworld. The Isle Basically. of Tims, which is pretty much this game's child garden. Complete with yep. the fact that you can actually feed the little buggers all the gems that you collect in the levels. No. But look at... So, yeah, oh, they're this, drops. This is the, this is the they're called drops. Yeah. Boop. Got it. And eat it. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. nom, nom. nom, nom. Oh. Look, look at that 
Oh, yeah. Where's the and rest the, of them? And, uh, I guess I think they're all running around. Yeah. So this is the yeah. real reason why you want to collect these drops in the game is <clears throat> you use them. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I have absolutely zero idea what the what the rat what the ratio or mechanic is for actually you know seeing how well they're fed and if it actually improves their efficiency. I really at don't. That wheel. Uh, honestly, it intrigues me about as much as the Chow Gardens do. <laughs> that is to say, <laughs> they're not getting at all. fatter. I love it's it. Like, it's like I appreciate it for the sake of atmosphere and it is cute. But I really couldn't care less for any of, like, the finer details as to what's happening here. Unless they're, like, you need to know them in order to go farther into the game. Get over here. I mean, the most <laughs> that I know about the drink... I mean, the most that I'm aware of... I mean, the most that I'm aware of... Oh my god, they are getting like, bigger. Yeah, yeah they, get, they, they grow bigger the more drops you feed them. And once you've... I guess once you've made them big enough, you can drop them over to that pinwheel over there. Mm -hmm. Right, which is why we're going to bring some over with us. Uh, the issue is that there's no grab button. You have to jump near them to pick them up. Yeah, Aww! The one, one ran out of breath! That was so approach. cute! So this is what we need him for. Manual labor. Okay. Well, okay, right you call it manual labor. I call Do I call just a fun little side attraction. It's a hamster wheel. Get to it. <laughs> there you go. Well, there it goes. So, th so this is what we're doing in the lower left there. We need to increase this up to a certain number. No, get back in there. <laughs> It should be said that it should be said that um, if you if you ha if the uh, Tims have been following you like as they should, they will m automatically drop onto the wheel. Oh my goodness! It's gonna take a little bit. This and, is gonna uh, take a little bit of time. Yeah, Logan is speeding this up. Though again, depending on the circumstance, you can't you can't make the spin the pinwheel spin faster. Right, like the more Tims, like we have only six Tims, but in each level you can find a couple eggs to hatch more one, more of them, right. and the, of course the better fed they are, the faster they'll push. So this does it does increasingly become easier and easier until I bet there is gonna, they are gonna at one point require one million turns at some point. Devil. Uh, mm. But here we go. This is, base. this is something that this is something that we built upon more a little bit later. And I will show it off in this look at, but for now, uh, that's enough fun in the tower in the Tim Land. We're going to uh, take a look. This will be this is think of it like a big playset when it's all done. Okay. Uh, we will. It, it's, I don't know what it actually does. I'm sure this. I'm sure there's going to be some bonus unlockable attached to that. Jeff Otherwise, it down. Could we're on the a, job. Yes, now, he was the one actually telling me to get going. I remember at that point, but. Um, so in terms of other gameplay, um, this game reminds me a lot of Puppeteer's mechanics, where you can carry up to three select, um, you know, hats or abilities that, you know, can, can help you in very, you know, context-sensitive moments, but if you get hit once, and if you don't have a hat equipped or costume, then you'll die, yeah, or, the and or you'll lose the costume. And honestly, yeah. that's a, that's another reason that kind of annoys me about the costume mechanic is that, like, if you ever lose a costume, you are going to have to do a bit of backtracking in order to make sure you save the costume. And you can be able to have, like, multiple stocks of a costume, but it's just an instance where it's like, I feel like it, the, the whole thing with costumes or acquiring and keeping them is a little bit more cumbersome than it probably has a right to be. I'll be right back. Would you, would you just argue that they shouldn't have put so much reliance on the gimmick as a whole? <laughs> I don't mind Ow. them existing, I just feel like I don't think it should really be, like, a chore to really keep them. You know, kind of make it along the lines of how uh, the Kirby power-ups in Milky Way Wishes work. I could see that working. Like, there so has basically, to be... once, you, once, you, once, you, once you get one, you keep it forever? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be against that in terms of, like, I feel like that would, I feel like that would make it a little bit... I feel like there just has to be some mechanic to make it a little bit more, like, a little less tedious, especially for the demographic they're going for. I will because... say if there is one thing that this game definitely didn't need is the fact that you can't even activate the costume unless you have a key on hand. Right. The key mechanic, the key mechan especially especially because right now they're putting the keys literally right next to the thing. It's like, what even is the point of that then? And that that is also something I found out as well. After you pretty much get unlock the costume from after you unlock the costume from their little diamond areas, you can still get the keys. You can actually stack up keys and pretty much use them on any of these like little diamonds. Oh yeah. All right. Here's a costume I learned about in this demo. Yep, the, the football. footballer. It's actually much Talk. different from all the others. In fact, it's not really so much a proper costume, but rather a catalyst for a mini game. Yep, and I bet that if I managed to, act, I bet if we managed to actually get down all, take down all these boards, we would have gotten a trophy for it. Yeah, but, you would. Welcome, welcome back. back. But uh, as I knew that, okay, 
I'll have to get better at that then later. Yeah, I don't blame game, you. I it it took a me a times. while to... It, I, I'm gonna have to try it again myself. One thing that I did find out, I found out the hard way, is when I was playing the game, uh, I had to step away from it for a bit because I had to get the mail. If you stay on this for too long, you do get timed out. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Uh, I guess because it's a mini game and they want to get you... Fair enough. Um... So, all right, so let's get on to, like, the gameplay itself while we're moving through this level. And we'll finish the first act in this video, and then the second one will be us tackling the other two levels mm -hmm. in the demo. I do honestly think that a lot of the... Nice. Ooh, good I job. Do think a, I do think a lot of the disappointment may... Disappointment I could see, but I'm seeing some people on social media who are just outright hating this project, and I don't... Yeah. Think it really deserves that? It does. No, it, like, does, honest, it doesn't. Honestly, I think like, people. I, I just think it's the matter that people set themselves some really out lofty expectations with this one, yeah. knowing that it's a grand return of probably one of the you know the forefathers of Sonic the Hedgehog among other projects. It is honestly yes. like you want to see. You want to see. I I'd say like the worst offender of that is that. There's this um, review group called Nintendo Life. They did a review of the Switch demo, which I'll say right, right now, like the Switch demo is probably not the most ideal version, but even with its limitations aside, I still think it runs perfectly fine. But like when they reviewed it, they were like, not only did they have problems with the game, but they were like needlessly, almost mercilessly harsh towards the game. Like to a point where they like, they would even complain about things that really aren't that big of a deal. Oh, like they'd make like, a big fuss about like, ahead. excuse me? I was going to say, uh, the thing you're about, if you want to hold on just a little bit, we're about to see that thing that they got so uppity about for no reason. It's well, no, you, you passed them. All the people that are dancing, they made a big fuss about it. Oh, no, no, that. but the, the, well, they, well, I think they're, I remember them also making a fuss about it happening during a, uh, like, after you clear a checkpoint, they do a little victory dance. Oh, the Dainty Dragon. It is good offensively, but as I put it, not much maneuverability. Yeah. yeah. Because, all, because all you can do is just shoot fireballs. Which is why it helps that now I have James here, because he can jump for me. Good. So again, I feel like the I feel like yeah, the co-op is probably going to be the way to play this game if you have the ability. I don't. If you have the ability to. Kind of curious again, how you could be able to like. I wonder if there will be a mod for the PC version to make it so that like you're technically in co-op all the time. I mean, I see I see, I see speedrunners probably doing this in like some form of like. I could see speedrunners doing it where it's like, oh, you know, we'll just play two controller mode all the time. And don't worry, to save on time, I will be cutting out those uh, other little costume trips. Yeah, basically. Yeah, this here. Yeah, basically. Yellow. Yay, way to go. Yay. But yeah, so this, so this is them saying you did it. Hooray. You remember, you're a little, remember, this is a game for younger audiences wanting to encourage you to move forward. Nintendo Life hates kids. Yeah. But yeah, um, <laughs> what that whole thing that he cut out. Those little circles, they serve as checkpoints, but if you stand on them long enough, they'll summon a door to pretty much take you to a menu where you can sort out the costumes you have on your little quick play. And mm -hmm. um, if you've already beaten an act, they can also be used to pretty much teleport between the different acts. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not uh, try that out yet. Well, I know it does it in like. Function. I, I think it did like when I was like fiddling through the demo not that long ago. That's what happened when I was like combing through the chapter six level to find the statues I missed. Yeah, huh. I know it happened for me oh, so when I was playing the demo earlier today. Well, that's cool. Um, so yeah, in terms of like all of the ire at this game, I I think what happened is that a lot of people thought this was going to be a grand return of Knights gameplay. Even though the tra Which, like the early trailers the tra proved that it was that. It, that they were going for something completely different. Yeah. Right, I figured they would have understood that, but you know. One thing I do this like is, this here. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All I was going to say was one thing I do like about uh, that everyone has in common, you don't have to use like a, an offensive attack to beat those enemies. You can just jump on them and that'll, you know, save you some skin. We yeah. did learn oh, yeah, the that... hard way, though, that it won't work if you don't have, already have a costume on. Okay, mm -hmm. true, true. It's question blocks. And uh, again, up ahead is going to be James and I breaking this game just a smidgen. Yeah. Uh, but, but I honestly am okay with that. The game doesn't feel broken to me. It feels more open that we can do stuff like this. Oh, yeah. Like, I honestly... Yeah. Like, I, I genuinely appreciate how open these levels feel. That That's another thing. Some people were saying that the level design in this game was a bit off. was, like, really... I, I don't know. Maybe it's, like... Maybe there is some bias or some nostalgia because I enjoy... Because I enjoyed the original Knights, or because I am just frankly 
in really liking the world building and character designs, but I do I think the game needs a little bit more quality of life improvements? For sure, why not? Like, there's still a couple months, and it would be cool if they were able to do that, but I think what they're working on still is a fun project. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I, I honestly, like, even though I would appreciate a lot of, like, you know, tweaks and fixes here, I feel like there's enough passion and creativity put into it where I don't think it really deserves as much of, like, the, the pissiness that people are giving it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what's been your stance on that, Jordy? Got it. Honestly, I'm in agreement with uh, Steve that this game is honestly something that I really do enjoy despite its flaws. And I really do think people are giving it a lot of uh, flack for for what it is. I mean, I, personally... I think, I think they'll be... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. All I was going to say is like, I mean, personally, I... Even though there are some things that I don't like about the game, like some of the backtracking and a lack of map, there's some things that I'm actually willing to like, you know, get used to, like the costume uh, changes, uh, some of the backtracking that I actually uh, think Ground actually pumping. works and the puzzling mechanics. So yeah, and I, I love the characters in the story. What, what more can I say about it? Um, how about oh. you, Silly? What are your impressions of this so far now that you're actually seeing some gameplay of it? It looks really cute, and I kind of wish I could give it a try and explore more. Well, Seely, it's a, it's a good thing you mentioned that, because, um, well, the reason I love it where I, I were able to do this in the first place, Battle of Wonder World did release a demo for all consoles. All right. Including mm -hmm. the Switch. I will... I will agree that from the sounds of things, the Switch port may not be the most optimized just oh. yet. The only big problem I do have with the Switch version is that there are the mo the occasional mo moments of stutter. At the same time, though, I guess maybe it's because I've already dealt with worse. But yeah, never the, mind. the the the, um, the problems that the have the Switch version have aren't quite as intrusive as I feared they'd be. Yeah, like I still think oh. it runs perfectly fine in spite of it being not as powerful as the other yeah. versions. Yeah. Yeah, and and playing the Steam version here with Logan, I was honestly surprised that like performance-wise, it wasn't nice. quite as drastically different as I thought it'd be. It's all, I think, just, I don't know, I guess we're going to just keep saying it till the cows come home, that I, I basically, basically, I don't think the game is as bad as, as initial, like, people wanting to, like, you know, jump on that kind of, uh, you know, Hate let's wagon. all rant about it, bandwagon, I don't think that's bad as everyone's saying it is. Right. No. It's going to be, it's going to be a little niche, but I think what the developers intended to make was a nice, fun little romp. A nice little fun game also here. I realize now we're supposed to use the dainty dragon to get over, to shoot that block before we uh, actually did what we're what us idiots are about to do. <laughs> but Well that's um, co off for you. Or courageous. But it's like Oh nice. Whoa, oh Steve yeah. ahead! Now you now that you have enough statues, you can be able to access the Polar Express train to uh, unlock the next levels that's exactly of the demo. What James called it. <laughs> Jen, be careful exactly the train, like kid! It. Boy, we're gonna try this now. Can we do it? Can you? And then I'm like, nah, we, don't, we totally don't need this. We can totally do it with just but with the wolves. And I was like, are you crazy? Are you crazy? We we can't confirm we have enough to do the ho go horizontal like, movement. At this point, you, James I, was, was like, oh, James, I guess we're doing it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And, and yeah, that there was, I think, James moving first. And I was like, oh, God, I guess we're doing it. And I had to just kind of catch up. Yeah, because like, it, it should be reminded when you're synced up, both characters have, like, both players have the ability to control each other's actions. Mm -hmm. I right. will admit that it's kind of funny. I was partly expecting Logan to go into a different direction. It's like, no, no, I don't think we should do this. I mean, we, we the exact same outfit, people are going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can be brothers! And then, and then we have these uh, evil boss ooblies to fight. Mid bosses. I'm calling them ooblies still. Ooblies. But yeah, basically. The masks that they have basically represent how much health they have. Every time you hit a hit, you take off a mask. Huh. Uh. Otherwise, uh, we have until, what was it, March until the game comes out? Probably? March. March 31st. Uh, thir yeah, literally in the March. I Ironically, around the same time, the time that, you know, Nintendo starts putting the fan hammer on some of their cel celebratory releases. I'm trying to think. Aww. I know there was another big title that comes out around that Monster exact Monster Hunter thing. Rise. Yeah. Which, I think, sad as it's going to be, that game's going to completely tank this one. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Well, especially because that is the the first Monster Hunter game that is releasing in the West that wasn't... A, it'll be the first, like, big international Monster Hunter release in a long while that's not just a port. It's it's going to be huge. And, uh-oh. We have summoned... We, 
by talking about Monster Hunter, we have summoned a boss. We've yes. summoned a monster. That's the, that's the one thing they ask us not to do is talk about the competitors. All right, let's just get right to it. And, and oh, and for those wondering, uh, I, I I told James I elected to skip all the cutscenes in this. That way, when we do our commentary proper, you know, we'll have stuff to see. You know, that's brand new. Yeah. So yeah, here's our first boss, which it only took me until you know our first run, our our, first, our test run of this to realize it's an amalgamation of all the costumes we've been wearing. Indeed. Yeah, the dainty dragon, the wolf. Uh, yeah. Oh. And honestly, what's funny, uh, I was talking with Logan about this, is that, like, so after you beat a boss, what you can actually do that's neat is that any of the costumes that you unlocked, you can actually bring them back into this boss. With certain costumes, yeah. these bosses turn into an act absolute joke. But I think that what James and I are showing off here is I think that the bosses in themselves aren't are less about the fight and more so like a puzzle of sorts to figure out what you have to use to counter them so like so in the first phase you know james did a normal attack then he used the ground pound pig to counter his tower defense <clears throat> and then i used the tornado wolf to you know reflect the tornado back at him and as we'll see later uh when you complete when you when you can like counter each of the boss's phases you're awarded a trophy for each one mm -hmm. and look Seely, look huh? it's a farmer <gasps> a farmer, farmer. howdy but not just a farmer so the whole point of this game is that throughout every chapter, you're actually trying to save the souls of all these, uh, you know, these people that have, you know, lost their heart. And once you, you know, defeat the darkness within them, you free, you not only free them, but you activate a dance number. Because again, this is, this is, this is still a... Rotten Battle in Wonderland World is, based, is best described as, you know, living out of Broadway musical. Yeah, Definitely. and I like that. Right. Especially since, uh, who was involved in this again, Jordy? Uh, it was the London West End side of Broadway. Wow. So yeah, they have a bunch of little, little dances and quirky little songs, and... Again, I... Some people may... Yay. Yay. Again, I think it... Some people may say that it's all superfluous and all pointless. I think it's just a damn... It's just supposed to be just... It's Damn fun. nice, feel-good game. But yeah, that's yeah exactly it's a feel-good game. That's all it is. That's all it really Thank needs you, to Valen. be, really. Uh, hi, Valen. Your hat's so sparkly. Did I tell you that? <laughs> I yes, believe you have. have on many occasions, but all aboard. <laughs> Yay. Yay, aboard like the dream Polar train. <laughs> it does look like a Polar Express time. But, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else. So then we go back to Isle of Tim's, and this is how we unlock uh, future levels, and... Um, although the demo lets us go, go through all of the uh, first chapter, um, uh, the other chapters, they kind of piecemeal it a little bit more. We'll only be able to experience a partial, uh, excuse me, a partial uh, amount of them just to, you know. Just the first half of each one. And other than that, I think the advertising is going to be like 12 chapters. Uh, yes, 12 chapters with, I believe, two acts each. Then, yeah, I mean, so... Uh, I'll have a, I'll keep an eye on it and see if there's any like big incentive for 100 percent because otherwise like again I I had fun exploring through this <laughs> and uh, don't touch that dial whatever because we're not done just yet yeah we are, we're, we, we're actually gonna show off the other two levels yep Yay! and we'll show off any other little bits of them as we can and uh, we'll hatch some more Tims look at them all <laughs> thank you guys Tims. So yeah, we'll 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 get back to feeding them, and uh, we'll we'll join you in the next part. Till next time, everybody. Bye. Tweet tweet. <laughs>